This is a new Isotope plugin called VIA for automatic voice enhancement. It actually is supposed to be used by content creators and podcasters, but it actually can be very useful for uh, voice recordings and rap too. This is my voice recorded using Audio-Technica AT4040 condenser microphone and uh, Antelope Audio Discrete 8 Pro audio interface. This is my voice recorded using Audio-Technica AT4040 condenser microphone and uh, Antelope Audio Discrete 8 Pro audio interface. This is my voice recorded using Audio-Technica AT4040 condenser microphone and uh, Antelope Audio Discrete 8 Pro audio interface. This is my voice recorded using Audio-Technica AT4040 condenser microphone and uh, Antelope Audio Discrete 8 Pro audio interface. This is my voice recorded using Isotope makes a bold claim here. Uh, they say that any voice recording uh, will sound more professional with VIA because it uses enhancements technologies uh, created for Eric's editor, mastering processor, Ozone, Nectar, and it allows for automatic uh, correction, compression, and also cleaning up from any noise you might have during the recording, and it will work with any DAW or uh, video editor. So the easiest way for me to explain you how it all works uh, is to compare it to more expensive and uh, more complex isotope plugin, which is called Neutron, and it is uh, suited for mixing different uh, instruments. So I'm just going to play uh, a bit of my recording now. This is my voice recorded using Audio-Technica AT4040 condenser microphone and uh, Antelope Audio Discrete 8 Pro audio interface. So as you can see, there are some automatic uh, targets for dialogue and for vocal recordings. And uh, in terms of dialogue, you just get some EQing, uh, some automatic uh, resonance suppression. This is my voice recorded using Audio-Technica AT4040 condenser microphone. And, and also uh, you can uh, use some compressors. So in case of uh, VIA, well, it actually works in a very similar way, but you just got three knobs and some uh, very well tailored uh, targets. So let me check how far we can go over the settings. I put VIA on my input channel in Cubase now, and you are listening to my voice recorded through this uh, Lavalier 8099 Audio Technica microphone. It's actually supposed to be somewhere here as a lavalier mic, but anyway, it works. So now, if I go further with the equalization settings, uh, you will hear that uh, it actually applies more correction to it. And with settings like public radio, you will get uh, a lot of uh, low frequencies, so your voice will sound a little bit deeper. So it, uh, there is a nice range here if your recording uh, is... Uh, different, uh, is much different from those targets here, you've, you've got a plenty of room here with those settings. And also, I remember that at first when we started working on those plugins uh, and I was uh, testing it, uh, I found that 20% setting was uncomfortable, there was too much compression and there was lots of uh, sibilances, and now I can go really deep and it sounds uh, good, it sounds loud, and it sounds pleasant uh, to ear in most cases. So with different settings, the emphasis is on different frequencies, different sounds. So there's lots of things you can actually get with this plugin. And, you know, the beauty of it is that uh, uh, in, with a, within reasonable range, it sounds really decent. VIA has also built-in noise reduction tool. Uh, I just opened the window in my, uh, in my studio. Also, I put a laptop here, which processes a video with the mini tracker from Venice now. So it's, uh, it generates a little bit of noise under high load. So now I will increase the value of clean parameter and I'll show you how it works. 
one, two, three, and I increase one, two, three, and to the maximum. One, two, three. So now, uh, when I, uh, you know, slap my fingers or move my fingers uh, just uh, um, in front of the mic, uh, those sounds will be uh, quite heavily reduced. So actually, it works uh, quite well. It is not voice isolation tool. Uh, it does. It will not get rid of the reverb, but it actually works pretty well as a noise reduction tool, and it cleans up your vocal. Well, if you liked my video, I would really appreciate uh, if you leave some comment or you subscribe. It really helps to grow, and also you'll find on my channel. Uh, a video dedicated to voice isolation. Uh, it's called uh, How to Isolate Your Voice for Music and uh, Film. And actually, hello, it's, hello. Uh, you know, it's quite deep uh, comparison of different tools, so I highly recommend it uh, to you. I'm testing with a hair dryer and with a vacuum cleaner and outside on the street. And the cool thing is, you can create your own targets by sampling the characteristics of your favorite voices, your favorite artists. Uh, I just created uh, one for Andrew Huang, uh, a great artist, a great YouTuber, and also Venus Theory. So you just need this application. You click Capture, then you press Play. And after a few seconds, you press Stop and you can you know save the target and i created two targets uh, one for andrew huang and the other one for venus theory uh, uh, who also has a uh, great voice and great youtube channel well i hope andrew huang and venus theory they don't mind i sample the characteristics and now i can show you uh, how it may sound so this is my voice processed through the filters and dynamics to you can usually hear in Andrew's uh, voiceover recordings. And this is Venus Theory. So my voice should sound a little bit deeper and uh, well controlled in the high end, less sibilance, etc. And also, I sampled uh, one of my favorite techno tracks. It's called Hidden Tea from Enrico San Giuliano, my favorite uh, techno artist. And uh, well, it turned out that my voice now sounds uh, very deep. Uh, I enjoy talking to the microphone using this preset. So it's quite interesting that you can actually use whole recordings uh, to, uh, to get a different kind of voice sound. Well, that's really inspiring. So it's time for final comparison. Uh, I will now present you with the Via, Nectar and uh, Neutron. So this is how my voice sounds with the VIA automatic settings. Uh, I have uh, re relearned it uh, with some more sibilant uh, text, and I think it sounds much better now. It's quite deep, it's well compressed, it's ready for being uh, presented in a video. So, well, it just works really well and really, really fast. And this is my voice with Nectar automatic settings. Of course, Nectar uh, compresses and equalizes my voice uh, as if it was uh, supposed to be used as a vocal. So probably it might need some tweaking in the low end. Uh, also, you need to um, deactivate reverb delay uh, and dimension for that reason. But it actually sounds decent and you can use Nectar successfully for this type of job. You just need to tweak it uh, a little bit and you've got more options. Uh, and this is uh, Neutron with the automatic settings for the dialog. I think it also works well. I can make it brighter if, if I like. Uh, I can uh, use less or more of uh, automatic sculpting. So it gives me more possibilities. But actually, I can get those results uh, and even better results just changing the presets much faster, much easier with the VIA. And it also includes, uh, it also uh, has some kind of noise suppression, which works really well. So actually, I started to use VIA uh, for my last 50 videos uh, instead of uh, Neutron. So whether you should get Neutron or VIA depends on if you're a mixing engineer, basically, uh, if you're not get VIA. But if you are and you already have Neutron and you make lots of videos, it 
it actually might be uh, reasonable to get Via because it's uh, really cheap, $29. Uh, it works well and it's super fast uh, um, as a workflow. However, if you need something that will work uh, real time, for instance, uh, for some broadcasting uh, purposes or you want to stream with OBS, VIA is not the best choice because it introduces a lot of latency. And also VIA uh, is a VST3 plugin. And uh, by default, you can use only VST2 plugins in OBS. Uh, so you cannot use uh, VIA or uh, Neutron 4. You can only use uh, Neutron 3. And I use it for quite some time successfully in zero latency mode. It worked really well. But at some point, I realized that actually I prefer to, you know, tweak my uh, voice uh, using uh, using uh, some plugins uh, when I'm editing. So currently I'm using VIA and I'm really happy because it simply is good enough and it works uh, perfectly for my purposes.